Amidst the raucous back and forth of the final presidential debate, this charge from Republican John McCain. We need to know the full extent of Senator Obama's relationship with ACORN, who is now on the verge of maybe perpetrating one of the greatest frauds in voter history in this country, maybe destroying a fabric of democracy. In Nevada, the voter fraud team raided ACORN's office. It's one of at least eight states that have begun voter fraud investigations. ACORN says it's registered more than a million young people, minorities, and poor and working class voters. But ACORN has come under fire for submitting registrations with fake names or other falsified information. Had nothing to do with us. We were not involved. The only involvement I've had with ACORN was I represented them alongside the U.S. Justice Department in making Illinois implement a motor voter law that helped people get registered at DMVs. ACORN officials defend the group's actions and blame a few bad apples for bogus registration. Out of 13,000 workers, there were inevitably a few who decided they tried to pad their hours uh, by duplicating a card and filling out another one or making up a name. Uh, if we discovered this uh, and through our, our calls or looking at the cards, we'd not only turn that information over, but turn the information that we had about that former employee, because they'd been fired by that point, to uh, elections officials and ask for their help in prosecuting that person. Your manual says one thing, yet you've done another. In Cuyahoga County, Ohio, the Board of Elections grilled ACORN officials. They even heard about one man who filled out 73 voter registration cards in a five-month period. There's a problem. What should this board do to solve that problem? House Republicans have renewed their push for a Justice Department investigation of ACORN. Six GOP leaders urged the Attorney General to make sure ballots by ineligible or fraudulent voters are not counted on Election Day. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.